Hello everyone, welcome to Extreme DX. I'm your host, Bruce. Today on Extreme DX, we're going to take a look at the C Crane Active Twin Coil Loop Antenna. Now that this seems to have been discontinued by C Crane, I don't uh, feel any guilt about uh, getting you inside the innards to show you exactly how this works. One of the biggest questions I have had is how they take a remote antenna like this and run it over a cable about six feet long to the tuning unit without detuning the station and also without loss. They do mention they saw a 75 foot wire between the two that has uh, a little bit of loss to it. So I'm going to investigate why they are able to do this when I am not with a remote tuning capacitor. So let's start with the head. Now I've cheated, I've already removed the screws so I can go ahead and open this up and show you what's going on. And here is the first clue. This is a pot or a dual gang pot. One gang for the uh, coarse tuning, other for the fine tuning. And of course, there's also a power switch in it. And it goes to this circuit board here, which seemingly has absolutely no active components on it. And when I pull this board out, I've already had it out, got the screws out, so this should be easier than it is here. It's got a couple of posts that hold it in. I'm going to pause. And here's the back side of the board. A few passive components, but there's no preamplifier on here at all. That's the biggest clue. Looking inside the head, there we see the ferrite bar antenna with twin coils. One, two, but this board also seemingly doesn't have any preamp on it. But looking at the back of the board, I see several transistors. And here is the answer. This is the preamp, and it's right next to the ferrite bar antenna. And because there's no tuning capacitor, it tells me that this has to be varactor diode tuned. And so there's the answer to the question. The pots inside the head unit are sending a voltage out to varactor diodes on this board, which is tuning it. An idea that you're familiar with from the GE Super Radio 3 and a lot more modern tuner circuits. This is actually the same thing I did in my clone of the DA9 antenna from a few weeks ago. There's the ferrite bar antenna, and right next to it is my preamp, only I'm tuning it with a tuning capacitor, which tells me I could do the same thing as C. Crane if I were to uh, varactor diode tune this and supply a voltage over a cable from a remote tuning unit. Well, this was shaping up to be a very short video, so I thought I'd give you a little bonus footage. Uh, the ICF 2010 has an external antenna input, so I thought, why don't I try out this C Crane Active Loop with it just to see if it provides any benefit? And this is one of my test stations. Do the fine tuning on the C Crane, I can get it up to 7 on the bar graph. And there's only five on the bar graph without it and noticeably weaker reception, although this is in my lab, which is noisier. And here is something interesting. This uh, unit that I constructed acts as a passive loop. And it will actually pack some gain into the front of the C crane active loop. I don't get any more bars on the bar graph, but the signal is noticeably easier to listen to, less static and interference. 